Let all cats old enough to catch their own prey gather here beneath the high rock for a clan meeting. Me you, I'm Simon. And I'm Evelyn. And today we're going to be discussing Outcast, chapters 5 and 6. And we're going to be discussing spoilers. And well, the thing that we are going to be discussing about spoilers is our spoiler policy. It's spoilers are fun. Fandom news. It's not really news, I guess. But it is rats. Yeah. So the Warriors Wiki has an article on rat. <laughs> <laughs> I read it. It was really long. I love <laughs> I love that this wiki, which is just for warriors, just has the thing about rats. Yeah. Rat. Is it friendly? Current? No. Past? No. Creature yeah, I love that there's an info bar. Yeah. Creature rat species ratus. <laughs> Book appearances, a lot. Not as many as we as you might expect. There's only nine. Oh, Outcast is one of them. We get rats and Outcast. No. What? Click yes. on it. Click on it. That just takes you to the Wiki, Wikipedia article for Outcast. Oh no, that's not what I meant. <laughs> what did you mean? Wait, scroll down, because that's where it says. Oh, here. When six cats traveled to the tribe of rushing water, Tawny Pelt was telling Brambleclaw how she remembered that the rat bite she got from visiting Midnight the Badger. Oh. <laughs> what is this grammar? Later, Lionpaw, Hollypaw, and Breezepaw are exploring, and they come across a rat. Lionpaw kills it with a bite to the neck. (laughs) (laughs) So there's just one rat in the book. Yeah. But anyways, rats are medium-sized, long-tailed rodents of the family Muridae. They are mostly active at night, can swim and climb with great agility, and consume almost anything. (laughs) Rats often live and travel in packs of a considerable size. Very informative. Oh, and there's an even longer description on the wiki. What are rats? Rats are small rodents with long, hairless tails that curve at the tip. Their tails are used mostly for balance and have few other functions. Rats also have incisors and molars. Incisors are the frontmost teeth in most mammals. Rats have four incisors, long and sharp. Two on the top and two on bottom. Incisors like these help rats gnaw. Molars are the back teeth (laughs) used for crying. Did they just copy this from the actual Wikipedia article for rats? I don't know. It really talks a lot about their teeth. Yeah. Oh, relation to the clan cats, though. Colonies of rats are usually dangerous to cats, as they are aggressive and tend to attack them. Episodes of rats attacking groups of cats are described in several books. (laughs) <laughs> they sure are. Yeah. They also carry diseases that can spread to cats, causing severe illness and sometimes death. For this reason, rats are generally not hunted as fresh kill. Do we want to talk more about rats? Um, I mean, we wish that the entire series was about rats, not cats. Imagine all the amazing fan art there could be. Oh, yeah, I'd love the fan art. Mm. But I think I'm done with this page. Yeah, then it just... Goes through all the book appearances. Okay. I just really loved how there's a rat article. <laughs> yeah. Rattus, rattus. <laughs> Warriors quote of the week we have. Mouse dung. Lion Blaze grumbled under his breath as Birchfall, snoring, flopped his legs onto Lion Blaze's belly for the third time. I wish I could sleep. Lion Blaze heaved Birchfall away roughly. He got to his paws. Ouch! A sharp twig jabbed Lion Blaze between the ears. Said by Lion Blaze, Night Whispers, Chapter 3. Yes. What a comedy of errors. <laughs> okay. Into the chapters. Chapters 5 and 6. In Chapter 5, J. Paul went to Moonpool Half Moon Medicine Cat's Dreams Mountain. <laughs> great, great summary. Oh, thank you. I didn't pay much attention to what actually happened in the chapter because I was busy highlighting 
all of the combinations of words that I thought would make a good warrior's name. Very productive. I think you pretty much covered it, though. <laughs> good. <laughs> oh, it like you highlighted the first word, No, which is no, J-pop. no, no, no. This is the wrong chapter. Oh, that's right. It's <laughs> chapter one. <laughs> we keep doing this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. So, the first reason I decided to highlight all the names was because <laughs> what because the, well, the first so it starts off cool night air whispered through j Paws fur. Up above, he knew the half moon would be floating in a clear sky. Those are both names. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. So, that's what started it. Wow. So j and Leaf Pool are <laughs> on their way to the moon pool. Yeah, I love Rock Speak as a name. Yeah, it says, would Rock Speak to him at the moon pool? That's a great name. Rock Hit, Rock Paw, Rock Speak. <laughs> <laughs> and moon pool is one too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Tail Twitch. <laughs> it says, Star Clan wasn't important after all. <laughs> I agree. They were only cats who had moved on to a different place. Yeah. But j thinks, like, the other ancestors who were here at the lake are important. Even though they were also just dead cats. Yeah. <laughs> and then he's thinking, it's Lion Paws and Holly Paws destiny, too. Mm, yeah. Remember a baboon rebelling against his density? <laughs> <laughs> well, they're not going to be rebelling against their densities much. No. They like it, actually. j Paw really likes that he has the power of the stars in his paws. Yeah. Our next warrior name is Small Voice. j Paw did his best to ignore <laughs> the small voice niggling at the back of his mind? Yeah, that's a word. Uh, okay. <laughs> small Voice is a terrible name, though. A small Voice? What about... But it's like Little Cloud, but Small Voice. But, like, Little Cloud is not, like, a bad thing. Small Voice, like can be considered a negative attribute. What about like like a mewing kitten? Like, that's so cute. What a small voice this kitten has. Yeah, but they probably don't want to be, you know, What a fierce kids. warrior is. <laughs> this cute warrior is. Mm. Leaf pool, wait for us. The distant call came from Wing Clan territory. What do you think of this name, Distant Call? Uh, not much. That's kind of a stretch, to be honest. Oh, <laughs> no, these names are stretches. I think that one is. What about infected bee sting? (laughs) (laughs) Like, imagine... I guess that would be a tribe name. No, no, no. Like, you give birth to a a sickly kit, so you name it infected kit. And then, on the day of its warrior ceremony, it gets stung by a bee. So, its warrior name is infected bee sting. I think... Like, Bee Sting being a portmanteau makes it too long of a name. Like, it would have to be Infected Bee or Infected Sting or just Bee Sting. Yeah, like, Bee Sting could be one. Yeah. Uh, Mothwing didn't show up because she's, she's an, an atheist. atheist yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So, Beach Fur has the Infected Bee Sting. Who even gets an Infected Bee Sting these days? Maybe... I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> this is weird. j thinks that Mothwing must have decided she could get a good night's sleep in her own den instead of trekking all the way up to the moon pool to have it here. So a good point. Yeah. So why do j and Willapod not like each other? They're like cold to each other. I can't remember. Yeah, me neither. I don't think it was a big deal though. Or maybe Willapod like tried to help j if he like tripped at some point. Oh. Something like that. I feel like I'm on Willapaw's side then. <laughs> j kind of rude. Yeah. Okay, then Little Cloud gets there. And Kestrel Paw's like, what's it like being blind? And that's like annoying. j gets annoyed a lot. Yeah. After he paced down the spiral track, feeling his paws slip into the paw prints of those long, ca- long ago cats, etc. So spiral track. Spiral track. Maybe a cat with, like, an interesting pattern, colors. I don't know. Yeah, maybe. But then he can't fall asleep. 
he's not going into his own dreams or anybody else's dream because he can do that. Except then eventually he did fall asleep. Yeah. And then he opens his eyes and he can see, so it's not real. Mm-hmm. And so. a quiet voice spoke behind him. You wanted to speak with me? It's Rock. He finally gets to talk to Rock. So here we have warrior name Quiet Voice. That's like the same as that other one. Small voice. <laughs> I think I probably highlighted it again, too. <laughs> <laughs> so then we have um, Twisted Claws. Uh-huh. Bear Rock. I feel like Twisted Claw is more like it of could, a good name. It could be a warrior name. Bear Rock, I don't know. And then there's Bear Skin for the <laughs> Sphinx Cat. Oh, yeah. And <laughs> bulging eyes. <laughs> disfigured face. <laughs> disfigured kit, disfigured pot, disfigured face. What a horrible name. I love how the description of rock really <laughs> brings out all these potential names. Yeah. <laughs> None of them are very good names, though. No. So, they're still, like, at the lake. It's one of those times, like, I feel like this happens all the time, where, like, they go to the moon pool, and then they drink the water and fall asleep, and then they wake up, and they're just still at the moon pool, but it's, like, a dream. Yeah, I guess if the Starkland doesn't have a, sp- a place in mind for them to have their dream. <laughs> Tourism season is closed sometimes. <laughs> J-Paw asks, like, oh, why do you stop talking to me? I tried and tried, but he wouldn't answer, and Rock dismissed the question with the flick of his rat-like tail. Rat-like kit, rat-like pot, no, rat-like no. tail. Oh my god. What? Why not? Rat-like <laughs> is not... <laughs> it doesn't make sense. Well, you just think rat kit, rat paw, rat tail? Yeah. Okay, fine. So what was Rock doing? Like, he's just dead. Like, what does he have to do? Um, be in the book, I guess. <laughs> but, like, why wasn't he talking to J-Paw? Was it because he was busy or was it because he didn't want to? Rock works in mysterious ways. <laughs> I guess so. Oh, he does say that he shares tongues with ones who came before. Then J-Paw's like, you mean the cats like fallen leaves? And then Rock is like, more ancient even than those. Ancient indeed. Yeah. So I know that he's like, friends with Midnight. So I heard... A rumor that Midnight is as old as the universe or something? I'm pretty sure that like Midnight's like really old. Let's look that up. <laughs> I think it's true. Midnight's like one of those turtles. <laughs> In the form of a badger. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> Midnight is an elderly female badger <laughs> and then it says midnight is a mysterious ancient badger that has been alive since the beginning of time <laughs> capable of speaking in many animal tongues <laughs> friendly current cat friend past none creature type badger species taxidia taxis wow I really love how it says Midnight is an elderly female badger <laughs> and then says that she's been alive since the beginning <laughs> of time. So what? The beginning of time? Was she a badger the whole time? What is the beginning of time in the Warriors universe? Probably like 1900. <laughs> that just raises more questions than answers. That's okay. Wow, nice art. Yeah, Midnight doesn't look ugly like a lot of badgers. She also doesn't look old. No, she looks really young. Yeah. Oh, and then there's a bit about Rock on this wiki page. Midnight and Rock seem to be related in some way, as they both are ancient ghosts who can appear physically. Wait, Midnight's a ghost? Oh, they, they can appear physically and give prophecies and omens. Okay. Whatever that means. So, Midnight chooses to appear physically in the body of the badger. Hmm. Okay. That's pretty silly. Do we really have to talk about this? Next warrior name, Silver Gaze. Yep. There's a lot of silver in this chapter. Oh yeah, there is. 
Oh, you will find your answers in the mountains, he murmured at last, though they may not be the ones you most want to hear. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think he's going to get answers to those questions that he really wants. What answers do they end up finding in the mountains, though? I don't remember. Uh, uh-huh. Like, what their powers are, or what Lion Paw's power is, at least. I feel like that happens there. Lion Paw definitely finds out, because he, like, wins a battle. And then he's like, oh, I guess this means I can never lose one. <laughs> <laughs> but he's right. Yeah, he's right. Yeah. Then we have Moonlight, Warrior Name, Silver Gleam, and Bulging, Bulging Eyes, Eyes again. <laughs> and Sudden Cold or Cold Breeze. Those are, no, Sudden yes. Cold. Sudden Cat. Like a cat, a cat that was born very suddenly. <laughs> Didn't know that she was pregnant. Yeah, like all of a sudden, there's a kit. Sudden Kit, Sudden Cold, and then Cold Breeze. Yeah. You could, you know, make those all warrior names. Yeah, you could. Oh, and then there's Dusky Forest. Sure. And Narrow Path. No, I feel like <laughs> most of these are, like, not warrior names. They're, like, tribe names, sort of. Or adjectives and nouns. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here's a good one. Spotted Prey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and then there's Blue Furred. A blue fur she cat, which is Blue Star. It is. Wow. And Ooh. she was named Blue Fur. Isn't that very cool? Yeah. And Friendly Flick. Yes. Hmm. These are all the good warrior names. I don't know. Spotted Friendly Prey. Flick is, Friendly Flick is like a Sky Clan name. <laughs> That's okay. Hmm. Anyways, in terms of what's like happening here, they're like in the rest of Star Clan, and he's with Leafpool now. Yeah, he. We found Leaf Pool, and then she was having the dream yeah. with Blue Star and White Storm. Yeah. So it says most of the Star Clan warriors were intent on their play on, on their prey. What else do they even do in Star Clan? They spent all day hunting and sharing tongues and that's it. being dead. I don't know. There's nothing to do. Yeah, like that. Sucks. There's no like patrols to go on. Yeah, I mean, they must, like, I feel like if that was my situation, like, I'd explore, like, I, I don't even know how big the territory is, but I'd explore, and I'd hunt, and I'd just socialize, and, like, there's nothing else. Yeah, no work to do. No work to do, and also no other entertainment. Yeah, I mean, cats don't have much entertainment anyway. That's true, cats in the real world. kind of sucks. Especially indoor cats. Yeah, what do they do? They just stare out with a window all day. And they just, like, lie there, yeah. Fresh Kill is a terrible warrior name. That does not count. What about Limp Body? <laughs> oh, I love that one. Like, imagine a little tiny limp kit. I can easily imagine that. Then we have Plump Vole. <laughs> Maybe not a good warrior's name. Mm. Ooh, Dense yeah, Undergrowth. Tail. Caught a plump bull, yeah. Oh, Feathertail, a real warrior. Were they already warriors? Stormtail and Feathertail? Wait, it's not Stormtail. Stormfur and Feathertail. They were warriors when they went on their trip. I think so, yeah. yeah. So they're following Feathertail, this is the dense undergrowth, the rocky slopes, and the stunted bushes. Well, it says she'll want to take her prey back to the Starkling camp. So I guess they just have one camp. Hmm. But it turns out when they catch up to her, if the fresh kill is not for Star Clan, it's for the tribe of endless hunting. Yeah, which I guess she can just go there. It's kind of strange that Feathertail like is a part of that, even though she didn't know them. No, she didn't know them. Like she was there for a bit and then she died. Yeah. Like just because her corpse is there. Like you'd think know. that she'd still be a Star Clan cat. Yeah. And wait, how come, like, why does she need to hunt for them? It says, like, why I, can't they hunt? I bear a responsibility to other cats, ones who still need the help of the clans, even though many moons have passed. But, so is she, like, helping 
the tribe of rushing water or like why is she bringing food to the tribe of endless hunting like they don't even need to eat yeah it doesn't make sense i don't understand why this is in the book probably just to talk about the mountains yeah then leaf pool has some sense and she's like haven't you done enough for them you gave your life to save them from a sharp tooth like yeah i think i think she's done enough yeah i have to agree with leaf pool here yeah also, sharp tooth. That's already a cat name. Yeah. Of a different Just a type. large cat name. <laughs> okay, now we get some some wonderful cat names. We've got shared past, blue eyes, mouse dung. <laughs> no, that's <laughs> awful. Faint sigh, silver glimmer, and spotted rock. <laughs> and rushing water and gentle splash and waterfall there that's all of them for at least this page <laughs> there's too many <laughs> they're all good this is how they make the allegiances maybe so oh so i guess he sees rock again in rock falls feather tail and j Paw doesn't follow them even though i think that he should and we'll never find out what happened. Yeah. And then he's back. He opened his eyes on darkness. And all of the cats, all the medicine cats wake up at the same time. Yeah, how can that happen? Why do they do that? Is that just like how it is or is that planned by the Star Clan cats? I don't know. Hmm. Then they go away from the moon pool and they climb up the spiral path. As in spiral path farm? Oh my god, don't dox ourselves. What? 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 Did I do something bad? <laughs> Honestly, if people like want to know who we are, I'm sure they can find out easily. Oh. But most people who are listening probably already know who we are. But everyone knows Spiral Path Farm. No, they don't. Most people who live here don't even know it. Like, not people don't like know that stuff. Like your average person. Like a lot. Of anyway, people stinging <laughs> insects. Anyways, they're going back, and Fire J Paws like, "Are you gonna tell Firestar about like Leaf Pool's dream?" Which oh, wait, what was he? What was even her dream? Her dream was seeing Feathertail. Oh, there was the Blue Star. About and oh, about White going Star. to the going to the mountains. That's what it was. Oh. And how they should do that, and how they need their help. That's oh what it right, was, yeah, right. Yeah. Feathertail is talking about how they need their help. Okay. I didn't get that. Maybe if they didn't send away like more than half their clan ages ago, like. Ooh. <laughs> then maybe they would have actually all died because they but couldn't eat. They need help anyway, though. From the same, they're still the same cats. The ones that left. True. So it's just them helping sort of. finally. <laughs> yeah, Leaf was like not sure if she should tell Firestar. She's like, whatever's happening, it doesn't seem as if Thunder Clan cats will be effective will be affected, which is true, but isn't the point of clan dynamics that you tell the leader, like, what's going on and stuff? Yeah. yeah. And then the leader decides what to do with that information. Well. Like, what's the point of having the medicine cat if, like, they don't, you know, communicate with They the just leader? know and don't tell. <laughs> and j says, at least I'm involved. Like, he's glad that he's involved in all this annoying difficult <laughs> problems yeah i don't know why you'd want to be involved like that like it's fine to just be a normal cat it's like the it's like good yeah, yeah. <laughs> juicy peas i feel like juicy peas of prey which is like the full thing it would be a good um tribe name oh yeah that, that could work yeah Okay, we're done with the chapter. Yeah, it ends with him thinking somehow he would have to find a way to go to the mountains. Uh, hmm, curious. Why are they all thinking that? <laughs> okay, chapter six. Summary. Berry Nose is a little snot. Lion Paw talks with Stormfur. Didn't Holly Paw just talk with Brooke? Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, geez, this book sucks. <laughs> Like, honestly, it's like the worst it's Warriors like it's a, book. This is a repeat conversation <laughs> that we just read last time. 
Oh my god. And so it starts out Lion Pot is with the other like apprentices doing yeah. battle training. And Barry Nose is there. I don't even know why Barry Nose is there. Yeah, he's a warrior. Why is he there? But Shut up. He's being really annoying. He is so annoying. I also so I recently learned that Barry Nose becomes a deputy of Thunderclan. What? This is Barry horrible. Knows. Horrible news. Why? I don't know. Bramblestar chose him, I guess. Is Barry Nose Bramblestar's apprentice? I don't remember. I think it might be. This mm. is so dumb. Why? What a horrible I don't know. choice. I don't know why it ended up happening, though, because I guess Squirrel Play died. Is that, did that happen? I don't think that happened. She either died or became an elder. Oh. Something happened. But yeah, I looked into like a future book at the Allegiances, and I saw Barry Nose deputy. Oh, that makes me very unhappy. Like, did he really change and become, like, good? But, like, the cat that we know him as, even, like, past this, like, after he's, you know, not, like, a brand new warrior, like, he's not a deputy material. No, I don't think so. Like, you gotta be a little more thoughtful and, like, yeah. you know, not go attacking anyone you feel like. Yeah, and, like, be, you know, treat people with respect. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Barry Nose was like, that was very good, condescendingly to Honeypaw. Your moves are coming on nicely. Thanks, Barry Nose. <laughs> Honeypaw <laughs> blinked adoringly at the cream color warrior. I just thought that their names and the descriptions sound delicious. Honeypaw blinked adoringly at the cream color warrior. Oh my berry gosh. Nose. Honey, berry, and cream is a delicious combination. Yeah. Mix it all up in a bowl. <laughs> I guess none of us made any notes for the entire page here. Because it was just like battle training and then, you know, Lionpaw getting angry at Berry Nose. And yeah. then Lionpaw wanting to attack Berry Nose because he was being such a know it all. But he holds back. And then instead of attacking Varios, he goes to talk to Stormfur. Yeah. Oh yeah, he, and at first when he hears Stormfur's voice, he thinks it might be Tiger Claw, Tiger Star. Why? Because it's like just like a voice. Oh, and he guess he has Tiger Star on the mind. Yeah. yeah. But then he looks looks around and it, it's just Stormfur. Yeah, Stormfur is very. Sympathetic about how annoying Barry Nose is. Yeah. And he points out that, you know, Brambleclaw had a lot of problems because Tiger Star was his father and Lionpaw's, you know, his son. Allegedly. <laughs> and also, but the but Lionpaw gave the reason that he thought he could, you know, wasn't supposed to make any mistakes and was supposed to be a good warrior was because Firestar is his grandpa. So he, he thinks, you know, they're both his grandpas, but, you know, both he's... Both his ancestors. Yeah. Not both his grandpas. Well, it doesn't... Isn't that what he thinks? Oh, what you mean, Tiger Claw. Tiger or Tiger Claw Star, and... not Bramble Claw. Oh, no. Tiger Star and Fire Star. Oh, yeah, yeah. He thinks that they're both his grandfathers. But he chooses to think about Fire Star being his grandpa more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He thinks, or no, he says, there's never been a leader like him, Firestar, and every cat will expect me to be just as good because I'm related to him. But I don't think that's true. Like, and Nobody even cares. Like, So many cats are related to him. It doesn't even matter. It's not even special anymore. <laughs> yeah. Especially later on. Like, Probably half the clan is related to him some way. <laughs> yeah. And also to each other. We don't have to talk about that. <laughs> Oh, yeah, then Tiger Stormfur is like, and Tiger Star, like, you know, related also to Tiger Star. Then Lionpaw is like nervous because he, like, he thinks that for some reason Stormfur might know about him meeting with Tiger Star and Hawk Frost. But that's not the case, of course. No, don't be paranoid. Okay. And then Stormfur is reminiscing about the journey or their quest with Brambleclaw, his father. Stories about midnight. Breeze Paws, the worst though. Breeze Paws mentioned here. Isn't Breeze Paws just the horrible? Yeah. Oh, but it says, but he, suppose he'd had to cooperate with Breeze Paws or warriors from Shadow Clan. 
Yeah. What? what? As if Shadow Clan is as bad as Breeza? Shadow Clan is way better than Breeza. The whole of Shadow Clan is better That's than Breeza. So horrible. <laughs> Why is Shadow Clan still being used as like the boogeyman like that? Yeah, I don't know. Like they're fine. They're just like a normal clan like yeah. all the others. Especially in the new forest. Especially like they're not even as bad as Wind Clan. Wind Clan's got some problems. Yeah, especially Breeze Paw. Breeze Paw is half of Wind Clan's problems. <laughs> Remember when he just, like, tries to kill Jay Feather for no reason at the moon pool? Yeah. Which is and illegal. Poppy Frost is there, too, I think. Yeah. He tried to kill them both. So unacceptable. Like, he should, Why would like, he be killed. That? Like, execution for that, you know? Like, I that's mean, unacceptable. Wow. And get out. Breeze paw. Oh, my God. And then they're talking again about Squirrel Flight getting her tail stuck in the fence. I hate when they talk about this. What a horrible memory for Squirrel Hoyt. I know, it's so embarrassing and people bring it up all the time. All the time. It's like they all, it's like the most important thing that happened on that trip. Yeah, and then Mind Paw's like, I wish I had been there. To see her <laughs> stuck in this humiliating That's how fence. I'd like to read it. <laughs> Wait, did I Yeah, what what you made a note there. What what do you have to say? What did I say? Oh, I know what I was going to say. It says, I shouldn't. I wouldn't have missed it. Even though we were scared a lot of the time, or tired, or hungry, we all knew we were doing our best to help our clans. That was what Stormfur said. But I think that's not a great thing to say. It's just encouraging our new generation to be underworked and overpaid and glad about it. Yeah, that's true. I'm just saying. Society has some issues for real. I guess they <laughs> needed to do it, though. Although, like, why couldn't Starkling have just told them what to do? Then they would have they saved... They knew. Starkling could have saved these those six cats all of that angst. Starkling is really annoying. Mm. Starkling is the real Shadow Clan, honestly. <gasps> you said it! <laughs> <laughs> and then... Talking about how Stormfur was jealous of Brambleclaw. Because of Squirrel Flight. Yeah. Weird. That was a weird book. I and then Feathertail died. I'm so sorry, Lion Palm, you trying to imagine what he would feel like if Hollypaw died. Oh, that's dun, actual dun, foreshadowing. Dun. Wow. She didn't. No, wait, then she did die? She died later. She she died. Yeah, well, she, she died. did. Yeah. She fake died and then she came back and then she died. Mm, oops. Yeah. Why do you think this conversation is basically the same as the one that Holly Leaf had with Brooke? I mean, it's been a couple months since I read that. Or no, not a couple months. It's been like a month maybe or maybe even less. I don't remember though. It's been so it long. seems similar. Yeah. It's already chapter 6. Like get on with it. Why well, how how have they not even left yet? I know. Although I guess there's not much to say once once they leave and once they go. They just yeah. go there. They just walk. They'll talk about sheep and dogs and thunderpaths. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> and then at the end of the conversation, Lion Paw's like talking about like, oh, you should go visit, you know, so Brooke mm. can visit again and, you know, but Stormfur doesn't, is, you know, he says, no, it's too far. Stormfur mewed briskly yeah. and then he leaves. Yeah, wow. Well. Clearly indicating that something is wrong. Yeah. Which we already knew because of J-Paw's dream. <laughs> but it's nothing. really, I have to say, it's really not fair that the tribe disowned them for, like, giving bad advice. Yeah. When, like, the rest of them have bad advice and opinions all the time. I mean... <laughs> like, for example, thinking that a silver cat isn't silver, but that a gray cat is silver. <laughs> <laughs> Like, yeah. Stone Teller did that. It, it's okay to be wrong. Yeah. Why are there no notes? I don't know. So what happens here is that Lion Bog goes to Wind Clan area. Uh, he's looking, I don't know why. Oh, okay, just to look at. Just for fun. I guess. And he's looking at, at Wind Clan and he's like, Ew, Wind Clan territory looks so unpleasant to live in because there's no trees. Yeah. And then he's and vice versa, Heather Paw would hate being trapped under all the trees yeah oh and he sees the mountains very far in the distance i wonder how far it actually is two miles <laughs> and i then... mean i don't know if i want to get into the scale issues again 
<laughs> well, but then he's also w- wanting to go to the mountains, which we already established. We have yeah. already established that all of the three cats <laughs> want to go to the mountains. Oh my god. The chapter ends with, It was hard to wrench his paws away from the border and start padding toward the camp. It's as though the mountains are calling me. But how could he ever answer the call? End of chapter. <laughs> I wonder, do you think we might go visit the mountains this book, maybe? It'd be, do you think that's possible? You know, it'd be really wonderful if they didn't. <laughs> they should do that. That would be good. Imagine if all this happened and they just didn't go. <laughs> I feel like that would be better. Yeah, I mean, you're expecting it. It'll be better. It would at least be funny because all this talk about the mountains and then going to the mountains sucks. Like, this book sucks. Yeah, I don't want to go like, to the mountains. It can't get much worse. Well, that's the end of that chapter. Okay. We haven't actually been recording for very long. Do we want to do another chapter? Yeah. Okay. Let's take a pause. No. <laughs> pause. Let's just read the whole thing out loud. It'll take a while. It's too hard. Okay, here we go. Chapter 7, Summary. I don't know. We didn't even read it yet. Wait, you didn't pause the recording? But I thought you... What? Did you? No. Oh, good, 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 good. What? Okay. Chapter 7, Summary. (laughs) I've got a plan, Holly (laughs) Pondas. Sheen's in her pod... (laughs) Read the whole thing, come on. No. (laughs) I wonder if there's a summary on the wiki. <gasps> That's cheating. How's it cheating? Outcast. Outcast. I doubt there's a summary for Out- each chapter. Key. Detailed plot description. Doesn't look very detailed. Okay, so Hollypaw and Cinderpaw are clearing out old bedding from the Elder's Den, and Hollypaw announces that she's got a plan. <gasps> It's about becoming a warrior. Wow. Oh my gosh. Said, <laughs> what a plan. <laughs> she says, I can't think of, think of everything at once, so I'm going to concentrate at one thing at a time. She's like, I'm going to start with hunting. If a clan isn't well fed, it can't defend its borders and fight battles. I'll practice and practice until I'm really good at it. Then I'll go on to something else. <laughs> so, she's pretty funny in this Holly Paw. <laughs> I don't know if her mentor would, like, be okay with yeah, that. Yeah, how will she explain herself? Mm-hmm. And also, like, all the apprentices become warriors. Like, nobody just, like, never becomes a warrior. Yeah, Holly Paul wants to do it differently and be really good, though. Yeah. I think she's good enough. Yeah. <laughs> Wasn't the whole point that she sucked at being a medicine cat, but she was really good at being a warrior? Yeah. Cinderpaw thinks that sounds a mouse brained. <laughs> she says, I mean, you can't stop doing everything else, can you? Are you going to leave me to finish the bedding while you go off looking for prey? Ha ha. Mm. Then Holly Paw's like, I'm going to do all the other stuff, but I'm just going to concentrate on hunting. And Cinder Paw says, I'd like to hear what Brackenfer <laughs> has to say if, if he thinks you're not concentrating on fighting. Yeah, this plan sucks. It's not a good plan. Not a well-rounded ra- plan. I appreciate her enthusiasm. But. Oh, and then Cinderfrog gets serious and is like, I really don't think this is a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> but Holly Paw got this idea because Brooke was talking about how they do things differently in the tribe. Yeah, but that also is bad. <laughs> yeah. I don't think she sticks with her plan, though. No. Uh, cloud tail what's he doing here cloud tail what is isn't he a mentor yeah it's funny that he still exists though <laughs> what why because he used to be such a character oh yeah he used to be like oh my god yeah he used to be such a standout character like his own cat and now he's just like a regular cat yeah so holly paw's annoyed because she can't put her plan into action because she's doing like battle training yeah she has to concentrate on it oh is this the chapter where this happens i don't know what this is it says lion lion paws like saying to ash for like oh i can do that move can i try it 
And Ash mm. was like, oh, it's advanced stuff, you know, no point in trying before you're ready. But Lion Paw, like, thinks that he's totally ready. Yeah. I wonder if this is the, the part where they get into a big fight. I thought that that... Oh, I don't remember any big fight like, in the clan. I remember a big fight, like, in the mountains. Oh, this was... I just mean, like, between Lion Paw and Ashfur. Oh. Yeah, I don't... I didn't remember this that. This might be it. Oh. Oh, yeah. You want tough? Be careful what you wish for, Lion Paw. Mm. I can cope with anything, Lion Paw insisted. And then, yeah, Ashfur leaped onto Lion Paw, landing a hard blow on his ear. Lion Paw rolled to one side, raking his hind paws down Ashfur's flank. Wow. He does the move that Cloudtail had just demonstrated. They're like rolling around screeching. This does seem like a real fight. Yeah. Everyone stopped training so, so they could watch the fight. <laughs> just looking. <laughs> Ashfur was fighting as if Lion Paw was a warrior, but so was Lion Paw. Yeah. He bit Ashfur's tail. <laughs> <laughs> and then jerked it so hard that Ashfur was unbalanced and fell on his side. This doesn't sound like a kitty fight. No. Oh my god. Ashford is blood on Ashford's gray pelt. Wow. Not the first time we'll see that. But her brother was Lion Paw was bleeding too. Mmm what? Asher is furious. He forgot as if he'd forgotten it wasn't a real battle. They're yeah. hurting each other. Hmm. Before anybody does anything though. Ashford launches himself on top of Lion Paw and holds him down with both forepaws on his chest. And it was like, was that tough enough for you? Yes, it was. No, no it, it wasn't, wasn't tough enough. I thought it was tough enough. <laughs> he goes on fighting. But then Brackenford is fi like, finally is like, that's enough. It's finally steps in. What's wrong with you, Ash? For stop. Yeah. That's not well, okay. Even Holly Fogg couldn't bring herself to congratulate her brother. The way the practice session had turned savage had disturbed her. Out of like seemingly nowhere, too. Yeah. It's just Ashford. Ashford should be put on apprentice duties. <laughs> I don't think that would stop him. And then Ashford's like, he catches his breath and he's like, Well done, Lion Paw, you fought like a warrior. I hope everyone else was watching. You should all be trying to be good as Lion Paw. It was like, nice try. You were just like fighting for real. Yeah, we like, saw that. <laughs> and yeah, Ashford is like still pretending that everything's fine. Poppy Paw's like, are you going to fight us like that to Cloudtail? Like, you know, clearly mm. that was pretty bad. Yeah. It's like, is nothing going to happen from this? Like, No. Oh my god. Nothing's going to happen. <laughs> Holly Paw could, in her mind, she could still see the blaze of rage in Ashford's eyes. What do you think about it being from Holly Paw's point of view instead of, like, Lion Paw's? Um, I don't know. I don't think much of it doesn't seem bad. Yeah. What do you think about it? I don't know, it's weird. <laughs> I mean, I think it makes sense because Holly Paul killed Ashford. You could say that. Is that the biggest plot twist in Warriors? I don't know. I don't remember being surprised by that. No, I mean, someone had to have done it. Yeah. I think the biggest plot twist was that thing I said earlier. About Midnight being a badger? But that Midnight turned out to be badger, yeah. Yeah, that, that was a big it. plot twist. We have a special guest. Oh my god. So it's Misty. Yeah, she's purring, but I don't think the microphone can pick it up. We figured out what Missy's warrior name would be if you were a warrior. What was it again? Like, <laughs> multicolored pelt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's a lot easier to name them when they're like gray or white or whatever. And she, just like yeah, because yeah. she doesn't really look like a like a dappled pelt or anything like no, that. No, it's not like patch pelt. Yeah, it's just like like she's like a white cat with a blanket on the. <laughs> yeah, cause like, like there's her, some stripes, but she's not like a stripy cat. Yeah, that's why her name's multicolored pelt. So she goes back, Lion Paw's still sleeping in the den, he still has a little bit of blood on him. <laughs> Holly Paw was talking to Brambleclaw about it, and Brambleclaw's kind of like downplaying it, like, yeah, you need to learn how to fight, fighting's scary. Hmm. 
if we had to fight another clan, they won't sheath their claws. Okay, but like, let's address the issue, which is like a warrior is being hostile and like fighting an apprentice for real. Like that's bad. Yeah. Like that's a really big issue. Like maybe you don't brush it off. Yeah. Hmm. Believe women. <laughs> I wonder. I you'd think Bramaclaw might like take it more seriously because like he knows Ashford. Yeah. Like, this is Ashford we're talking about. Not like, like if Brackenford did that, like, it's Brackenford. Like, everybody trusts him. Yeah. And, like, it would be fine maybe to downplay that, but not Ashford. Yeah, I mean, well, I'm trying to think, like. Was Ashford really bad before this? Yeah, no. I'm trying to think, but. I mean, when he was an apprentice, he was good. Yeah. But I, I don't know. I guess, well, there was a squirrel fight thing, but then never really got nothing ever came of anything I feel like when I remember Ashford really being bad is in Long Shadows when he was like terrible is that I don't the know one? that's when like he was like gonna kill them and stuff during the fire right yeah, the iconic fire scene <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, yeah I'm just trying to think like before this if there was anything really like a telltale sign hmm I don't, th- I don't know. Man. But, yeah, Bra- I don't know why Brambleclaw is just, like, not taking it seriously. Oh, not Barry Nose again. If I read that name one more time, I will get increasingly more annoyed. Honeypot, like, you're good, but, like, get over him. He sucks. Yeah, nothing wrong with Honeypot. Hollypot was finding it hard to sense prey because her fellow apprentice was still meowing on about the cream-colored warrior. Hug, <laughs> hug. Like honestly, he doesn't even on every hunting patrol. Like, sure, he's a brilliant hunter, but <laughs> like, that's not how this works. Hug. Uh, so now, Hollypaw is supposed to be like concentrating extra hard on her hunting. Oh yeah. But I don't think I think she forgot this plan already. I think so because she's hunting and she's not mentioning it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, she. She so- feels something. Like maybe somebody's watching her or something's wrong. A cat scent? Just like a sense. Mm. Her fur is prickly. I don't know what that's about. She says, I can scent cats, but it's not any scent I know. And the apprentices are told to run back to camp mm. and get help. Because there's a mysterious cat. Oh, it's the tribe, isn't oh, it? Oh, but not Stormfur and Brook, Sandstorm added. So it's definitely the tribe. Yeah, it's definitely the tribe. There's no danger, but we need more warriors. Huh. I wonder why, then, if there's no danger. Yeah, why, Bramble Seems Claw? a little suspicious. But then they go back. And they get more cats, and then... Hmm. Wow, Mousefur's already an elder here. Oh, uh, Mousefur. I feel like during, like, there's, like, a long period where there's, like, no elders, practically. Well, there's... Didn't they leave, like, all the elders behind when they went on the great journey? Oh, yeah. That probably explains it, then. And mm. then Mousefur became an elder. And, and Longtail. Longtail. And then Purdy. Oh, yes. And then I don't even My know. My favorite trio. What's your favorite Warriors trio? Firestar, Graystripe, Ravenpaw? Um, the three from the... Pro- the three siblings? Or the three from the prophecy? Or <laughs> Mouse for Longtail and Purdy? Definitely Mouse for Long Purdy. <laughs> Mouse for Long Purdy! <laughs> yes. And then I think Firepaw, Graypaw, Ravenpaw, and then the other ones. Hmm. Are there other other triplets? Uh, I don't know. Trios. Maybe we would know if we had like read all of them. <laughs> um. Then there's the we get the usual stuff about like elders being alarmed. The queens like ushering the kids back into the nursery. And stuff. Because it's like the scent of intruders, even yeah. though we know who it is. And then that's the end of the chapter. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We don't even get to see that it's the tribe. Oh, wow. No, but we do... The cats are two... There's two of them, a massive dark brown tabby tom and a pure black she-cat. So all the all the tribe cats are, like, dark and earthy colors? To blend in in the mountain. So, but... But, wait. but all of the, like, lake cats and... Forest cats, all those cats are like, you know, 
some of them are brown, but some of them are like colorful, orange, yeah. white, you know? Yeah. So like, does that mean that the colorful cats in the tribe just like all died? Maybe, maybe evolution made them not be that color. I think some, some of them might put mud on their fur, but oh. I'm not sure if that's... Hmm. Uh, Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.